Osaka Castle and we have a the Universal City Walk Mall that we're gonna go to and also Hedgehog Cafe. That's gonna be my favorite <laughs> of the day. And we just got to Yoshi Oh now Oshinawa. Oshinawa? Noah? Oshinawa. Noya. Noya. Oshinoya. <laughs> yeah the names are really hard to pronounce here. <laughs> Got a soup and rice and two eggs, corn, some lettuce. Two shark got a rice poach. So good. So we're gonna buy a hot coffee from the vending machine. And we're gonna get It's actually really hot. Ah, ah. <laughs> it's actually really hot. There's a cozy for this. Oh, too short for the rest. These guys are never prepared. <laughs> Our first hot coffee vending machine experience. We're at Osaka Castle now. Just finished at Osaka Castle, going to Universal City Walk. We're gonna take the JR, it's one train ride straight over. So the subway line isn't as hard to use as a lot of people say it is, because there's uh, English everywhere and you just gotta figure out which stop you gotta go to. For us, for example, Universal City, you just $1.90, click on adult. English purchase ticket and dollar ninety and then you just pay. City center. I uh, didn't expect it to be outdoor, but apparently it's outdoor. Oh, they got Goku figurines. That's so cool. I feel like it's not that hard though. It always, it always looks like it's not hard. Oh, what the fuck? Wow, candy. Oh, GG. GG. Well, oh, get that one. Okay. Oh, I actually almost got it. <laughs> Accident. <laughs> Burger. You gotta try that out if you're coming to Japan. And we got the rice burger. We got four burgers actually. We got the rice burger, we got the cheeseburger, and we got a shrimp burger. And what else do we get? Veggie. A veggie well, not burger. Not actually veggie. 
Just a burger with veggies. I had a spicy moss cheeseburger with a double patty. Only way to go, obviously. Jalapeno, spicy sauce, I think. Looks good. Shrimp burger. Alright. Kind of tastes like a filet fish with popcorn chicken from KFC. And now we're heading to the Meta Sky Building. This is also one of the things you should do is stop by Osaka station because it's one of the biggest stations in the world. There's so many trains that come around here. It looks like Union Station in front. Check out this escalator. It flattens out and then it goes down again. Couldn't go up to the very top because there was a tornado or hurricane damage constellation. We got to go to the 27th floor and we still see a view. This is underneath the Mena Sky Building. It's a street full of food. But we just got to Coco Curry House. We've been wanting to eat this for a while and we're gonna try it out. So we got the regular spice. Tushar got the spicy scene yet and it's really spicy. So we're gonna try this one out. I can't really take spicy, but this regular spice is actually pretty good. It's not too spicy, it just has that little kick. And it's pretty pretty amazing. Very flavorful. It's got a very strong curry taste. Good recommendation. I'm telling you, I'm gonna probably eat this pub one more time. Yeah, at least. <laughs> at least. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. So we're done at the Meta Sky Building and we're now heading over to the Hep 5 building. Four passengers, 2400. It's, it's the same. Right? No? No. Oh. Same. Oh. First pay, second touch. Yeah. We're going up in the fifth room. Hedgehog Cafe now. Now uh, we're trying to find the right way to go. We are in the heart of rush hour. There's tons of people. Hopefully uh, we can get to our Hedgehog Cafe on time. Yeah. <laughs> 
Even close, you can still feel it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she look how cute! <gasps> He's sniffing. <laughs> to show you how cute he is. There you go. Don't grip it. Don't grip him. Just let let him land on you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Take picture. Bye. 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 Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm here just in case he drops <laughs> We just finished the Hedgehog Cafe and now we're in Tenjinbashi Suji. Uh, it's a shopping street that's about three subway stations and it's really long. And it's an indoor mall. So today we're in search of ramen because we still haven't eaten ramen yet. We've been here for what, two days? Two days without ramen. Not cool. But we had sushi. Yeah, we locked sushi off the list so now we gotta knock ramen off the list. Our mission is a success. We finally found our ramen and this is pretty legit. Yeah, just sitting at the bar. Yeah. We got the house special with three pieces of pork, and then we add an egg. Oh, that was like the best hard boiled egg I've ever had, and I don't even like hard boiled egg. So Kenny and I love our ramen, and we have it a lot in Toronto. But this one, hands down, blows it out of the water. This is like the best ramen we've ever had. And you can kind of see why they spend a lot of time. Uh, curing the broth. There's many many pounds of bone marrow they put in the soup and that's what makes the soup so uh, thick and so flavorful and very rich. This is uh, literally like four or five subway stops from where we were and that's how long the street is of shops. So we're gonna check out that Ferris wheel and see how much it is and if there's a long lineup or not. And we're gonna try to go on it. Wow, scary. Ah, oh, shit. 
<laughs> so it's like we're on the edge. Yeah. It's highly recommended for five dollars each. Well, well, because we got the coupon. I think he hands out the coupons to everybody though. I know, but maybe he's not there all the time. Oh, maybe. Maybe he doesn't hand them out during the weekend. But since we're here during the week, Thursday, we got a discount. Mm-hmm. Either way, it's only six dollars each. Yeah, it's still cheap. <laughs> Definitely worth the 20 minute ride, 15 20 minute ride. And we didn't have to wait at all. Yeah, there was no lineup. We're almost there, almost there. <laughs> Alright, so we're Thank you. Thank you. Nom 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 nom.